Hi there. Konnichiwa. Haru and welcome back to another video log of my life. This time I'm packing my bags and flying 12 hours across the globe to the beautiful country of Japan, one of my absolute favorite places on earth. Follows my girlfriend and I get on our flight, satisfy our Ichiran ramen cravings, and explore the streets of Tokyo from the skies above. June 25th, 2024. Our first stop was LAX, arriving shortly after 10 p.m. to catch our red eye flight. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Tom Bradley. Every time I travel internationally and have to stop by the Tom Bradley International Terminal, I have to take that same picture. You know, just to let everybody on social media know that I'm going on a trip. After patiently waiting, we were finally boarding our 1.20 a.m. flight to Haneda. These sign language interpreters go hard on these Japanese airlines with facial expressions and everything. From my previous experience, Japanese airline food is supposed to be delicious. My girlfriend got the shrimp tempura, which also came with some soba, and I, of course, got the Hamburg steak. I also got bread. It wasn't bad and definitely kept me full for the entire duration of the flight. Although I do remember as a kid that if the food wasn't good, you can always order cup noodles free of charge. However, the recent flights I've been taking, I have not seen that option. June 27th, 2024. When we finally landed, it was a nice and gloomy day at Haneda Airport. Here's a quick video selfie to show my parents that I was fine and didn't get kidnapped. And then it was off to our BNB. We just got into our Airbnb. It's a little tiny. I am a 6'2 tall ass man in this little tiny space, but you know, we get used to it. A little TV right here. And uh, yeah, we're here for one night. Tomorrow we'll make our way to Osaka. A little clean, nice, humble open. Little fridge for some snackies later. Tell me why this is the longest TV remote in the world. This is like a whole ruler of TV remotes. All these subscriptions, I don't even know half of them. Then it was time to hit the city. Famous Ichiran. Here we are, our first stop for food. I remember when Ichiran first started gaining popularity. Everybody loved the idea of eating behind these boards that separated you from the next customer, and like you can just kind of eat in your own space and you don't have to talk to anyone at all. I'm so happy to find someone like my girlfriend who loves Ichiran as much as they love me because I love Ichiran. For me, Ichiran is unmatched. The flavors of the broth, the delicacy of the noodles, and the portion of the ingredients makes for a perfectly balanced noodle soup. Not to mention, it's kind of fun to sit behind these little booths. They also had these wooden blocks with English messages on there, in case a customer needed anything but didn't know how to say it. Pretty helpful for any tourists visiting Japan. Afterwards, we stopped by Family Mart, Famima for short, to get some sweets. My girlfriend decided on mochi ice cream and of course I had to get a nice coffee on the go. We also stopped by a general goods store to pick up some products to beat the heat, including this cooling spray. Is this water? My leg. 
I don't know what kind of 5G technology Japan put in this spray, but it actually cools you down pretty well. Next up was some stores my girlfriend wanted to take a look at. This Korean cosmetic brand Tambrins and then this eyeglasses apparel Gentle Monster. My girlfriend got a perfume from Tambrins and I surprisingly also picked up a pair of specs from Gentle Monster. Continuing with our shopping, we made a stop at the Labo where my girlfriend purchased yet again another perfume. But this place is actually pretty cool because you get to watch the chemist uh, worker lady person make the perfume right in front of you and then they give you this piece of paper where you can write the name of the perfume and the location and all that stuff and they attach it to the bottle at the end. Perfume, girl. She smells good. Oh man. She don't shower. She don't shower, but she smells good. <laughs> Let me see that Tokyo scent. Mmm, right there. Tokyo scent. Tokyo scent. <laughs> Smelling. Mmm. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. I know this is just the first day, but the yen was really weak. Everything was pretty much discounted. We then took a quick pit stop at Blue Bottle in Aoyama for my second iced coffee. After resting for a little, we stumbled upon Canelle et Creme Glacé near Ometasando. Is that on the menu? My girlfriend had been wanting to try Canelles, so we gave it a go. Girlfriends can never figure out packaging. Shut up! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> I'll just put it in here so <laughs> nicely. Some good packaging. <laughs> Give me this tree. <laughs> Give me this pastry. <laughs> oh. 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 I'll pick that up. Mmm. You like it? Oh. It was cool. I wasn't it's even like, recording. It's like crunchy. It's like soft inside. Mm -hmm. oh, Funky. Across the infamous mirror escalator was a terrace covered in green, so you know I had to investigate. Turns out it was a rooftop food court, which had some great views from above. There's also this lounge inside the building called Harappa with some really cool art installations set up. I feel like if I lived in Japan, I would hang out in these public spaces all the time. Look, baby, it's a big Loiwi bag. Loiwi bag. Loiwi bag. We continued with our walk in the city until it was finally dinner time. My girlfriend had seen that some of the BTS members ate at a restaurant called Red Rock, so naturally, we made our way there. Turns out, we went to the wrong restaurant and ate at Roast Beef, oh no, instead. Yeah, this place has got Roast Beef, oh no. This place has got Roast Beef, oh no. Cream cheese, miso marinated cream cheese. Oh hell yeah. After dinner, we made plans to check out Shibuya Sky, but before that, you know I had to get my vitamin C fizzy drink. We needed coins. So I pulled out some money from the ATM. <laughs> okay, ATM. But all I got was cash, so I bought this for some coins. <laughs> I also just took a fat You're not gonna add that in the vlog. So now all my body fights. After waiting some time for our reservation, we made it up to the 47th floor to explore Tokyo from above.
Tokyo will forever be the most vibrant city at night. Before heading back to the B&B, we made a konbini stop for some late night snacks. Family chicken. Family chicky. Smell like a chicken nugget. The best chicken is from my convenience store. How juicy it is. <laughs> Can't even tell. But it's very juicy. This right here is my absolute favorite food that you can get in a kombini. It is straight up an egg sandwich. And this is egg sandwich count number one. June 28th, 2024. The next morning, we rushed through the pouring rain to catch our bullet train to Osaka. It was a mission, but we did it. We made it out of the house, onto the bullet train. We got our snacks. We got our drinks. Of course, no train ride would be complete without bento boxes. Finally got on the train, we got our food. Meet this open in your box. Very nice empty bento box. Do we have utensils? Bro, maybe there's some inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My girlfriend chose a katsu box and I got this combination set with beef, a tea egg, glass noodles, and some veggies. We also got some skewers to share and a hot dog bread for myself. I'm here vlogging my hot dog bread. I know this one was short, but I just wanted to make an individual video for each city we went to. Next stop is going to be Osaka, Japan. So I thank you guys for watching and holla at you later. We're up there in the dark. <laughs>